Watch me make bakute for the first time and also roti boy. <laughs> Featuring Penang represent Bernice. We're so hard to clean. Kind of follow through and use the countertop. No. Okay, here are the ingredients that we need for bakute. First, we bought pork ribs from Lunfeng Chinatown, and then we have tofu pork. We obviously need the paste, pak choy, Thai rice, salt and pepper, garlic, sesame oil, and soy sauce. Let's see what Bernie is doing. <laughs> So um, we're cooking bakute in this current condition. Just to let you know, none of these are mine or Bernice's. So yeah, this is the current kitchen condition. How exciting! I'm the one who uses the kitchen every day, so if I can do it, it's possible for everyone else. You think it's that bad, man? <laughs> I apologize. Step two, washing your veggies. Oh, yeah. Yours is a studio, right? I've got a special and so you had an inspection before? Yeah, and you said okay. My Did they step in your room with shoes and everything? Yeah. Didn't you like wanna beat yeah. the freak out of them? <laughs> they also stepped in my bathroom with yeah, shoes. Yeah, bro, they stepped on my bathroom. The, they the shower? They stepped on my bathroom mat. Uh. I know, bro. I really didn't know what to say. I was, and the shower also. The shower also. I was like, oh. Bro, faster boil. You show you what I do is like, I put the kettle the water. Now that I put only put the pork. Okay, but Bernice, would you like to open the kettle and have a smell? Nope. Okay, you get what I mean. The cleaning packet for the kettle. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Ramadan, you can't say that. <laughs> Wait, Bernice, I have this in the packet also. I open and put all. Huh? This one? Anything you want to say? No. Hey. I love Malaysia. <laughs> Do you want you in it? Yeah, sure, just a bit. It's been 30 minutes, let's check. Not bad. We're gonna boil it a bit longer. The rice is pretty much done. And I forgot to film this, but I put oil and minced garlic 
into the microwave to sort of deep fry it. So now we have crispy garlic, rice, and the soup. And Bernice is baking. Final step. Chinese tofu pot into this. Picture over there? It yeah. smells of dirt. No, you should film it the other way. Oh, wait, no. what? Okay, let me know how it tastes. I think that the final product was pretty good, but it would be nicer with Yutiao and Fucho. Guys, I can't believe I forgot to film the end result, but. I'll, I'll insert the photos. It looks amazing and it tastes pretty good. Okay, rate like out of 10. Eight. Eight? What's, what's lacking? It's just. The flavors are melting on my tongue! But you work so hard to clean it. Gotta follow through and use the countertop. No. All the germs that uh, before I met you, I wrote songs about you. I made you my world, now everything I do revolve around you. Like two moons in the sky, switching up the tides. Damn, I can't see right with you, I'm rosy eyed. Running out of time, mountains climb, rivers waded through. Sunsets that I seen, still nothing close to partaking as you. Cliches or truths might be cheesy, but you might find doing. I won't dip, I swear I'm here to stay. For the Chinatown Bakery internship. Okay. <laughs> Wait, this was nice. Okay, this one Bernice made. Okay, this one I made. Hey, hey, hey. not too bad. But Bernice, this is lovely. This one. Your turn. Bernice and the Pingu. So over here, we're actually just piping the coffee mixture onto the bread bun. And Bernice honestly carried the whole baking process while I took charge of the cooking <laughs> of the main dish. And the coffee buns actually turned out pretty well. I think Bernice wanted it to be slightly bigger and I felt that it was not <laughs> as buttery and also a little bit bitter but I enjoyed it. Mmm! Wait! Also, mm. mm. Coffee's a bit bitter for me. Mm. Also, here's a before and after of our kitchen. Okay, bye.